So now let's dig a little bit deeper into the user interface and see how we can manipulate it. As we look at the top, the quick access toolbar uh, is customizable. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Um, as the name infers, it's quick access toolbar and you put the tools there that you like the most and that you want to have available at all times when you're working. Let's say, for example, you have done a floor plan and you have a lot of doors to place and your door uh, tool right now is the one that you're using a lot. What you can do is, as you notice, if I click on the insert tab or the annotate tab, the door tool goes away because it's only present in the home tab. If I right click on the door tool, it actually gives me an option to say add to quick access toolbar. So I click on that and you'll notice that it will pop up on the top. In some cases, when your screen resolution is a little bit lower, they may not show up exactly on this toolbar right here and you may have to push the little expand button, but there is the, the door tool in the quick access toolbar. So now when I go into any one of these different tabs, if I'm, for example, an analyze or in structure, I have this door tool available to me at all times. If I don't want to have it there anymore, I simply right click on it and remove it from the quick access toolbar. So you can completely customize everything that it shows in here. You can also push this little tiny little triangle expand button and when I click on that I get a list of all the tools that I have in the toolbar. I can, if I want to, temporarily uncheck some of these. They will disappear from the toolbar but the main programming that I've put into it will stay. So for example, if I now decide I want the measure tool back, I can put it back there. That's the difference between actually unchecking and checking and literally un taking it off of that toolbar and putting it back on. So you can further customize it that way. Down towards the very bottom of this particular pull down, uh, there's something called Customize Quick Access Toolbar. If we click on that, we get even deeper into customizing the toolbar and you'll notice that all the icons are listed on the left and then right next to it the word or what the icon actually does. But the other thing that we have available to us right here are these uh, separators that you, know, you can click on them and you can move them up or down and you can even add new ones or delete the ones that are there with these two buttons right here. And those are the little vertical bars that you see on the quick access toolbar so you could even further group the tools that you like the most. Uh, for example, if you're doing a lot of building, then you could um, put your doors, walls, and windows in one little segment, and maybe you don't use the save and open all that much, so you can take those off of the toolbar. So that's how you customize the toolbar. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is you can actually click uh, at the very bottom, and there's one more option. If you like the quick access toolbar closer to your drawing window, you can show it below the ribbon. That just simply moves it from the top of the screen down here underneath the ribbon and it's a little bit closer to your drawing view window. So that gives you everything that you'd want to know about the quick access toolbar and you can use it to your advantage and have all the tools available to you.